Booth, the music director and conductor for your symphony orchestra in Virginia Beach, Symphonicity. Let's hear it for him. And we're going to be joined by our special friends from Valley, Virginia, to see some wonderful dance. We're going to have a good time. Have you had a great time so far today? Okay, are we ready for the show? All right. Well, as we, how about it? We've got some enthusiastic carnival participants. Well, before we begin the show, we want to always take time to thank those that have made the show possible. So first of all, I'd like to hear a big cheer for all of those that helped us in the lobby, all the pre-concert activities. Let's hear it for all of those folks out there. All right. I see some, some faces painted. And did you see anyone on stilts? Was there someone on stilts? Oh, I missed that. I don't know why. I just couldn't see it somewhere. But anyway, I'm sure you had a good time. And these concerts now would not be possible if it weren't for the generous help of others that give us the resources and the money and the things we need to put on a great carnival show. So I'd like to hear another big cheer for two important groups that sponsor today's concert, PRA Group and the Capital Group, two wonderful companies in our community. Thank you. Big cheer for them. Thank you. All right, now every concert for Symphonicity starts the same. We take an opportunity to sing the song of our country, the United States of America, as a way to pay tribute and to remember that we live in a great country, a place where we can pursue our freedom and happiness and do fun things like this. So we would like for you to join us in our national anthem. If you would please stand, and many of you probably know the words, so you can sing right along with us as we start our carnival concert with the Star Spangled Banner. And there is our flag right over there. Great job, everyone. Great job. Now, let me grab my baton. Now, this very special instrument of mine, the conductor has the baton. This is what I use to, of course, lead our orchestra. And I would like to share with you how I use it and talk to you a little bit about how we do a concert, okay? Now, how many of you have been to a symphony concert before? Okay, how about anyone new to a symphony concert today? All right, we have some new folks here too, very good. Well, as you must know, the most important thing to do, not only in a symphony concert, but when you're at a concert at the carnival, the most important thing to do is to listen. Listen. We listen to the music, we listen to the story. And then when you like what you hear and see, we cheer, cheer. So I'm conducting you now. You're listening. Cheer. Yeah, there we go. They're pretty good. You could be in my orchestra. That's terrific. Well, you'll need to remember those very special skills as we go Bach to the carnival. Bach. Why Bach? Well, we've been opening every concert this year with music by Johann Sebastian Bach. Now, who was this person, Johann Sebastian Bach? 
Well, he basically looks like that, or he did. He was born 300 some years ago. But Johann Sebastian Bach is one of the most famous composers, and for some people they feel the most famous composer that ever lived. And his music is what gave us the map on how to write music all these years later, all the way until today. So we wanted to start our concert with Johann Sebastian Bach and one of his most famous pieces of music that I bet you've heard before at Halloween, probably on the organ. It's called Toccata and Fugue in D minor. See if you recognize it, okay? And think about Halloween when you hear it. This is a wonderful piece. And I just hope, I'm told that Johann Sebastian Bach may actually come to our concert today, especially if you cheer loud enough in between the songs. I hope this music does it. Let's find out. Here. I mean, I'm sorry, it's just kind of a big deal, you know, you're kind of a big deal. Uh, oh, I still my goodness, one. well, I mean, what did you think of your Takata and Fugue there? I love that you all are wonderful. Oh, yes, or they are. Or we used to say. <laughs> wunderbar. Can they say that? Wunderbar, huh? Wunderbar. wunderbar. Say it with me. You're from Germany, right, Bach? Yes. That's a German word. Yes. Well, you know, Bach, I have to say, everyone, I have to say I thought you might be coming here. I was hopeful you'd make it here, but it has been 300 years. I didn't know quite what you'd look like in 2020. I thought you'd look like this. <gasps> no! Nine, nine! No, I thought I'd look more like this. Ah, oh, pretty cool, huh? Playing the guitar. Of course, I the electric it. guitar. Yes. You didn't have an electric guitar no. 300 years ago. No, so much has happened since then. It's 2020. And you know what? Overnight, I wrote a piece, a new version of the Toccata and Fugue in D minor. And I thought, maybe you all could try it. A what new do you think? A new version of the piece we just played? Yes. So this is the same piece we just did, but yes. what it would sound like now in 2020. Yes. Well, do you guys want to hear it? Yeah. Okay. okay, well, you all have the music, right? Okay, well, let's try it. Let's, let's see how this goes. May I watch? Sure, you can watch. I think it starts with the percussion. Here we go. Ready to listen? This is going to be wild, I bet. Well, of 
course. Thank you. Many memories. Oh, that baton is hot. Baton Excuse drive. me. That is oh hot. Goodness. That was really wow. That was something else, Bach. That's I tell amazing. you, you are something else. Well, I tell That's you what, are you okay? <laughs> All right. <laughs> that has been 300 years. Well, that was fun. You know, Bach, you are here at our carnival. I am. Carnivals are fun. How many of you have been to a carnival before? Been to a carnival? The no. games and rides? Have you ever been to a carnival? I haven't. Back in my time, we had choir festivals. Choir. Doesn't sound like a carnival, though. Choir's fun. Choir's fun. Yes. Choir's fun. My daughter's in the choir. My wife is in ah. the choir. But carnivals are also lots of fun. Yes. And you are at a very special carnival. Not just any carnival, Bach. This one is very much up your alley because it's about the musicians and more. And to help oh. us tell us that story, Valley, Virginia are going to have some dancers to join us. And fabulous. I have a story right here that if you were so willing... You could read that to us while the dancers dance and we play the music and have a carnival old time. What do you think? Sure, I'll do it. Let's do it. Let's, right. How about it? Should we hear Johann Sebastian Bach in the story? Yes. Okay. All right, so we're going to begin our story now in a carnival of today. And this is a story about Zoe and the carnival, and it's going to feature our friends from Valley, Virginia. You'll want to make sure you listen and watch and have a great time. Here we go. There was a girl named Zoe. One summer day, on the way to play in the park, Zoe saw a grown-up all dressed up in fancy clothes and carrying some kind of musical instrument. What's that? asked Zoe, pointing to the instrument. Oh, this is my trumpet, the musician answered. A trumpet can play strong and exciting music, and it sounds like this. saw another musician going to the park with a different kind of instrument. What's that? she asked. 
This is my violin, answered the second musician. It can play sweetly and gracefully, like this. Just then, two of Zoe's friends arrived to find her in the park. Soon, Zoe heard two flutes playing together. It reminded her of two birds singing up in her favorite tree. They ran around and around, playing until they started to feel tired. They found their favorite tree and sat under it. They wondered together, who were these musicians and why were they coming to their park? They stretched out under the tree and began to feel very tired. Then a cello joined in the lullaby.
Zoe had a dream while under the tree. She dreamed that a carnival came to town and set up right in their playground. Something was wrong at the carnival. Zoe didn't see any other boys and girls. Instead of children, there were only musical instruments eating ice cream and popcorn. And not only that, they were going on all the rides. Zoe got scared and yelled out, Hey, where are my friends? But nobody answered. Then a trombone stood right up to her and said, We can be friends, Zoe, if you listen to our music. You can play make-believe with us when you are all alone. It's fun to hear the orchestra when you've made friends with the instruments, and it's lots of fun to hear sly trombones. Zoe heard a clown laughing and singing a silly tune. She looked around to find the clown, but instead found two bassoons. The French horns asked Zoe to join them for a ride on the merry-go-round. Suddenly, Zoe woke up and there was a lot going on. Wow, it's a real carnival, she said. 
with food and rides and games and with lots of children. And not only that, the park was full of musicians too. Zoe saw a snake charmer playing the oboe. Right near Zoe's tree, there was a string bass playing. And a viola played along too. Then all the musicians came together and gave a concert. summer day, Zoe was a very lucky girl. She got to play in the park, go to a carnival, and hear a concert. And best of all, her dream came true! Dancers and Johann Sebastian Bach. How about the fantastic soloists of Symphonicity? How about the whole orchestra? Well, Bach. I tell you, it's a little warm in here, I know. That was, yes. that was uh, quite the story, my friend. That Excellent was job. fabulous, thank you. What did you think of our carnival? I loved it. Did you love it? Yeah. Yes! All right. Well, you know what? I love those dancers a lot, and, and, and the orchestra too, of course, and I'm hoping we can have some more dancing and playing from the musicians. Absolutely, yes. in fact, in fact, I know you're from Germany, but how about we go to Rome? with a piece by another composer that you know. It's another Johann, but it's Johann Strauss. I can and it's, with that. it's little Strauss, the young one. He wrote a wonderful overture for a ballet that he did called Carnival in Rome. So it's a carnival experience musically in Rome, and Ballet Virginia is going to come out and take us there. What do you think? I love it. All right, here we go to Rome with Johann Strauss and his Carnival in Rome.
Let's hear it for Ballet Virginia. Well, we are at the end of our carnival, so it's time to say goodbye. But we do have one more treat in store for you, because really the best part about a carnival is to be a part of the carnival. And we want you to be a part of our carnival to finish up today. Is that okay? Do you want to join us in this carnival? Would you like to win some prizes? Maybe a big popcorn box or some big ice cream? Yeah. Well, some of you are going to win, and this is how you win in this carnival game. You have to clap along with the music, okay? And really be loving it, enjoying it, loving the sound of music and the sound of the orchestra. And our friends from Valley, Virginia, and Johann Sebastian Bach are going to go out there and see you, and they're going to judge and see and evaluate who is the most enthusiastic supporter of music and orchestra and fun times, and you might just win a prize. And after that, and the show is over with, you can go to the lobby and get autographs. Thank you so much. We're going to go to Carnival in Paris now with Johann Strauss Sr., Daddy Strauss, to finish the show. Clap along with us in this wonderful gallop called Carnival in Paris. <laughs>